I see you all online learning how to plant trees. You know what, that is pretty cool, but I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna teach you all how to print a tree. Let's do this. I can, I can, do I, do I? I do, I do, can I, can I? I can, I can, do I, do I? I do, I do, can I, can I? God, no, no, God can take my mind I can take my mind and I'm fine, I'm fine, fine, fine God, no, no, God can take my mind I can take my mind and I'm fine Hello everybody, my name is Chase Huckel and I am joining Mr. Beast! Now, I may not have a tree, but I was able to find a 3D model of a tree Eh? Uh, uh, that's cool, right? Anyway, since I'm everybody's favorite YouTuber, I'm going to teach you how to 3D print your own tree out of recycled materials. Whoa! In order to make the stump, I'm going to print it out of a recycled plastic that is made from coffee. And the green that I'm going to use for the actual leaves and everything is already recycled plastic. It is a PLA, but it is already recycled. So let's get right into this. I'm going to show you how to 3D print. This will be fun. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to download which files you want. Luckily, I was able to find this. It's Low Poly Tree Sculptures by Frank, by Frank Falco. Frank Falco? I don't know, it's cool. But check out these cool trees. These look amazing. Look at them. They're adorable. Look, it's got like, oh cool. Like little dirt that goes inside the pot. This looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. There we go, just a very simple design. Looks like some berries go on a tree or like an apple or something. Yeah, luckily I've already downloaded all these models, so let's get right into the actual printing process. The 3D printer that I have is a Prusa i3 Mark III S. It is an incredible printer, and I've been using it for a very long time now. It is just a beautiful machine. So, in order to actually print on it, I downloaded Prusa Slicer. Now, don't worry. Prusa Slicer is absolutely free to download, and it, the prints are incredible. I know 3D printing is a bit of a niche, but it's something I really enjoy. So. Let me show you how to do this. Well, first you want to take your tree models and move it into your downloads, just like that. Boop. See, there we go. Now they're all over in your download files. Now you can click on this add model, and I'm just going to add all of these so I can pick and choose which ones I want to do. And open. And that's a lot of models. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so one thing I forgot is that if you open them all up at the exact same time, they're all going to be placed the exact same area. So if I just grab one, pull it over, there we go. Now we get to actually see the individual models. So I'm just gonna work, just gonna pull these apart really quick. Okay, so now that we have each of the individual models that I want to use, I'm gonna print each one of these individually. And it's a bit of a process, but let me show you how to slice these. I'm gonna show you how how they all look sliced at the exact same time, and then I'm going to go through and individually slice them. Now slicing is taking a 3D model and putting it into individual layers, so that way it does the first layer, right, that's one slice, and then it does the next layer. Think of it as like a loaf of bread, or the part in Big Hero 6 when Wasabi throws an apple through the field of lasers. Each individual part of the apple is there, it's just super thin. So let me show you how to do that. So what I want to do is you want to click right here, and it'll slice it. Wait for it. See this little green, and there we go. See, then I can use this orange bar right here, and I actually look how each individual layer will print, which is really interesting. So if I go like that, right? But I don't. Let's say I don't like the infill. Infill is this pattern right here. Right now it's set to a dry right. So let's mess with the infill settings. Uh, I'm going to keep it. Yeah, you know, I'm going to change it to. Yeah, 5% infill. I don't want to waste that much filament. And let's change it to grid. So if I go back to my plater here and slice again, let's see how that looks. See, much different infill. You can see how the grid is much larger. And I actually really like the way that this looks. That's going to be cool. All right. 
Now obviously I'm not going to print all of these at the same time because I want each of these to have a different color. So, I'm going to stop recording here, I'm going to slice these individually, and then we're going to cut to a time lapse of each of these being printed. Ready? Time lapse, go! Alright everybody, so now that we have all of the pieces, and they're finally done printing, which took me a couple of days, which is why this video is coming out late, I wanted to upload this on the 25th, but um, this printed through the 25th, actually right here, uh, that was midnight 25th, so that sucks. Oh well, anyway! Here we have the first part that I printed, which is supposed to be like the pot for the tree, you know, where you put everything in. And I dropped it. The second part that we have here is supposed to be the soil. Now, I wasn't really sure how this was going to turn out considering the coffee has been a bit weird. This is actually all, most of it is coffee, which is just absolutely crazy to me because it's just a recycled material, something that a lot of people throw up. Uh, what I love is the little pun that they came up for the name called Wound Up. What's really cool is it actually does kind of look brown, which is what I was hoping for, but also the top has some differences in color, which is really interesting. It makes, makes it look a little bit more like mulch or some actual topsoil compared to the stump. Now the stump is printed in the exact same coffee because I don't have two shades of brown, so I was it only, you know, I can only use one. What's neat is though, uh, because I printed on blue tape in order to hold my prints to the actual heated bed. What's really neat is it actually did give the bark kind of like this wood texture, which I think looks really cool. How neat is that? And then finally, we have the whole tree, the whole top, all the leaves and everything, and it's really cool. Look at this thing. I mean, it's just incredible. 
I mean, it's just, this took forever, and I did make a mistake by printing this accidentally at 15% infill instead of the recommended 10%. If I had printed it at 10%, it would have taken a lot less time, and uh, I wouldn't have wasted as much plastic, but you know what? Still turned out pretty cool. So let's piece this all together. So let's start with, here I'm just going to put the other cards over here. Let's start with this pot. This is the first part that we printed. I wanted to print it from the ground up, just like you're watching it grow. So if you want to plant your own tree, I highly recommend going to teentrees.org. Every dollar donated equals one tree planted. So, you donate $100, they're gonna plant 100 trees. You donate $1, they're gonna plant one tree. And so on and so on. I will personally be donating $25 to the campaign to show my support, and also because this is the largest YouTuber collaboration in history. Mark Rober, Mr. Beast, Captain Disillusion, Count Dankula, Circle Tunes, oh my god! This is incredible, and I get to be a part of this. It's also a part of doing something that, you know what? If there's a chance of helping people, I'm gonna take it. All right, so let's piece this entire thing together. So we have a pot. Now I haven't sanded any of these parts down. I did do a dry fit just to make sure that they all actually click together, so that way if I needed to, I would sand them off on camera, but this is the real, this is the actual one where it all comes together for the first time. I haven't had it all together at once. I've pieced these together, I've pieced these together, and I've pieced this into here, but I haven't put it all together at once yet. So this will be really cool. So we're going to start with the pot. Going to take our soil here. Notice how the hole goes all the way through, and this will fit inside of there. And it's really neat because it actually slides through, which is really cool. But the soil goes into the pot. And that should just click in there. Oh, that is satisfying. Yeah, and that's in there. That's like, there's no way to, yeah, that's not coming out. <laughs> so now, take our stump. Just gonna put that right there. There we go. Just like that. And now, we're gonna, comes the hard part. So now comes the hard part of lining up the sexagon with the sexagon here. And I don't know how else this is gonna work, but uh, it should be fun. I'm just gonna, oh! <laughs> Check that out! It's an entirely 3D printed tree! Look at that! Oh, that's so cool. So at this point, I can probably assume what you're thinking. Hugel, everybody's taken the time to make real trees and real change. What is 3D printing a plastic plant gonna do? Everybody is helping to promote team trees using their skills that they're best at. Mark Rover, he understands technology. He took drones and flew them all over. To or plant trees all over. Plant trees, that was incredible. Circle Tunes taught everybody how to draw a tree. And me? Well, I'm using what I'm best at. I'm best at 3D printing. It's a little bit of a hobby, but I think I'm pretty darn good at it, considering we've got this all to fit together. I mean, look at this! It's entirely like a 3D printed tree. Make sure to donate to teamtrees.org. Don't let me be alone here. I want to see all of you make real trees. And you know what? Tell you what. I'll tell you what. If this video gets 100 likes, and I will check in the comments below, if each one of you donates $1 to Team Trees, I will send this tree to A, either one of you, or B, I will send this tree to Mr. Beast. Heck, I'll even 3D print a golden pot for this tree just so I can send it to Mr. Beast. And if you want to make that happen, you gotta donate to Team Trees. Come on, let's make it happen, people! Woo!